Hi, I'm uh, Shane Crandall. I'm an FSC in Chicago, and we're here at the 2010 ESC show. And we uh, wanted to take a moment to introduce a new light bar from uh, our customer, Federal Signal Corporation, in University Park, Illinois. This is a brand new light bar. Um, it's using 14 of Microchip's microcontrollers, along with seven of our quad uh, MOSFET drivers. If you take a look at the bar, you'll see that uh, each bar has a separate pod and a separate motor for each pod. Our microcontrollers uh, are contained on one of the boards that uh, is controlling the motors for each. This is a kind of a look at the board for each pod as well as the LEDs. What's unique about this design is each of these LEDs contains four different colors. So there's uh, red, blue, amber, and white. So as you uh, control the controls, you can actually see um, all the different colors and they can actually direct the color to whatever part of the unit that they want. If they wanted to light up a specific side of the vehicle, for example, the left side of the vehicle, you notice that all the lights can go to the left. And if they want to light up the right side of the vehicle, they could go to the right. And uh, what's kind of unique also is there's a rear flash pattern where so they can direct all the light to the rear of the vehicle and nothing out the front and the same for the front. So every time the motor's actually spinning around, the light's just going to go the direction that they actually want it to. So our micro's also in this uh, smart siren control panel, um, and there's actually an Ethernet port on the side, and our part's doing that as well with the 97J60. There's actually a big uh, control board inside the unit itself that's actually controlling all the light patterns on the unit. And also what's unique about this design is there's holes in top of each one of these pods. So a helicopter overhead can not only see the, uh, the squad car in which uh, it also can see which direction it's going um, based on the V-shaped pattern. One of the common uh, issues that a lot of the police municipalities had with the low profile light bars, it didn't emit enough light to the side of the vehicle. With this V-shaped pattern, they get 360 degree light disbursement um, based on how this is set up. So in the past, all of the uh, LEDs would just blink and it'd be a static uh, pod, wouldn't actually move. This way they can actually rotate the modules and disperse light however they want. There's actually a warning bar in the back and directional indicator that they can use and it's all controlled off of the same keypad. If they actually want to flood the front of a scene or the front of the vehicle, you'll notice all the lights are facing front. There's actually side lights on here and actual takedown lights as well.